Hello again, it's Jimmy here, the Riley. So I've just got here, arrived behind me, Range Rover, uh, whatever you call it, full size Range Rover. Uh, this is a petrol version, which is a bit different, and it's got a GPF gasoline particle filter issue. Uh, so we're going to get inside and have a look. Okay, so it's a late 2018, it could be a 19, I'd have to check that. Okay, inside the vehicle, restricted performance. Uh, charge so it looks like it might be a mild hybrid as well is it okay so for this I'm gonna use the Euro tab 3 okay so here we have the tab 3 I'm just gonna get off of the last system that I was on which is a Citroen so we'll start fresh with this one so we have a Land Rover doesn't say what year, well it's 2018 or 19, one or the other. 2019, there we go, 2 litre petrol plug-in hybrid. What have they done to us? Uh, we'll just go with this one. High speed scan. Tailgate, so we're not worried about most of these, but we're just going to check them engine speed and put short circuit to ground. Right, so the customer has said someone has changed a camshaft sensor on it and a camshaft solenoid. DC to DC converter voltage sensor below. A lot of electrical, so it's probably had a flat battery of some sort. Particulate filter restriction, soot accumulation, particulate filter restriction, particulate filter regeneration duration, fuel pump control module circuit open. If that was the case, then we wouldn't be running low fuel pressure system. May have run out of fuel, has it? Have we got fuel in here now? Yep, we have. Okay, so I was told it previously had a camshaft correlation error, but that was fixed with a, a um, what's it called, camshaft solenoid and sensor. Okay, because we've got these other faults here, which is a fuel pump, um, what I might start with is a just a code clear, and then we'll recheck everything again. So some of the history with this is it came from a BCA auction. This is what the buyer is telling me. Um, I'm assuming he's a trade person, but um, he said it came from BCA auction and it was sold as seen with the engine light on. It did come straight from Range Rover dealer, which was which was what he's saying is it came into Range Rover dealer as a part X and then they've just put it into auction. So he said a couple of people look at it, but nobody seemed to want to touch it, he said. So yeah, all right. So. First issue is obviously, like I said, we've got this fuel pump error. So I'm just going to clear that now. It sounds like to me someone's either been plugging stuff out, or it's had a flat battery, or it's actually been low on fuel. So we'll just do a cold clear, and then we just run the engine again for a minute. Have we got the engine running yet? It's hard to tell. I'll do a cold scan. A cold scan is finished. We have now we're just left with a particulate filter. So, a regeneration duration would mean that it's taking too long to try and regenerate and the pressure isn't coming down, so it will give you that sort of cold. Or, uh, does it maybe a few other reasons why that can happen? But let's go to data stream. So, I'm going to try and get some of the data stream up here now, but my only concern is for me is being honest petrol particle filters or GPFs gasoline particle filters I don't have 
as much experience on them I mean it's gonna be the same pretty much the same everything's gonna be the same how it works really but um, my only issue would be I'm not sure what's an acceptable limit on a petrol GPF like what's the acceptable acceptable amount of soot or what's the acceptable amount of pressure um, I'd assume the limits would be a lot lower on a petrol because you're never going to have as much carbon or as much soot build up on a petrol engine as you would on a diesel so we're going to get these parameters and stuff up see what it's what it is um, but it's obviously saying it's too high there is an awful lot of stuff to look through on here to be honest and I'm even just trying to find the most simple stuff which is proven a bit difficult so sometimes it will be particle filter or particulate filter coolant temperature engine run time since last regeneration Let's take that actually, that might be interesting. Particular filter soot mass. So, even though I've narrowed this down, we've still got 1294 items to look through, which is a bit crazy. Okay, so I'm looking now through the pressure, powertrain. We can't really find, I mean, this is much as oxygen much as I can find really let's just press ok uh, metric or English seconds bar I'll go to metric exhaust back pressure which may be different than what the actual differential pressure is uh, offset we found offset but not the actual DPF pressure 6.8 grams of soot that would be low if it's a diesel. Uh, gonna see if I can still find something else. Okay, so I found these items here. We take those off. That's interesting. Number of attempted regens is 591. Successful is only 12. Particulate filter pressure torque. Hmm. Distance since the exhaust regeneration 786 kilometers. And that's not miles, it's meters. Right. It's. I mean, according to that, the pressure is too low, but I'm not sure if that's. That's just exhaust pack pressure. That's a, usually a different sensor. It's not the differential pressure sensor or the DPF inlet pressure. We can't find any of those. Um, so. We're going to check, I think what I'm interested in checking so far would probably be have we got a split in any of the DPF pressure sensor hoses. The pressure looks low, I'm not sure if it is. Grams of soot is 6.8. I'm not sure if that's high or low for a petrol. It seems low, again. But why is it saying that it's the DPF is overloaded? It must think that that is out of an acceptable range. Okay, we'll first just try and familiarise myself with the engine. Ugh. That's a hot engine. Petrol engines definitely run hotter than diesels. It feels like I'm, just, I'm sitting over a fire. Hot. So I'm trying to figure out where the pressure sensors are. And I'm just trying to think like, please don't tell me that's where the pressure sensor is down here let me just see if I can get the camera down there so where am I looking you see here I've got like a pressure pipe with a blanked off cap on it and down here is where it runs and if you can see just about down there on top of the gearbox there is what looks like a sensor with another tube running down there somewhere but no idea how you're supposed to access that it's behind the engine on top of the gearbox I'm not 100% sure that's it but it looks like it so I'm just under the car and yeah that, the pressure sensor you can't see it from down here so it definitely is that 
so there ain't no way I've got arms that long uh, so if I'm gonna attempt to try and even clean this it looks like I'm gonna have to go through maybe this um, sensor right here that looks surprisingly rusty as well does that look like it's been overheated looks kind of purple signs of overheating okay so I've got the sensor out and I'm gonna put some cleaner in through here basically well it's only just melted my cleaning gun by placing it on there how hot can that be that's unbelievable I am um... right so I'm gonna have to try and repair this this accessory for two years and I've never used it I didn't think I'd ever really need to but here I found a case where I do so okay so that's now all back together we've put the cleaning fluid in there and we're gonna see what that does now I do feel like I'm, like I'm on a little bit of a guessing game with this car and I don't like the feeling of that now I know how some people feel when they get a DPF fault in and they haven't got a clue what they're looking at I mean, I know what I'm looking at in in some aspects, but because it's petrol, it's just a little bit of a curveball. Okay, now as usual, we'd see obviously white smoke, which is steam from the cleaner. I'm just keeping an eye on these numbers. I think that's come down a fair bit there, that one. So again, that's smoking like so. Okay, now I'm going to use the Euro Tab three to look for the special functions on. Exhaust emission, oh, not supported. We had something else there. Gasoline particulate filter. Clear particulate filter, memory values. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear the memory faults so we can actually clear, try and clear the fault codes. You also have the option for a particulate filter regeneration. I would not like to try that on one of these, especially since how hot it was getting while it was just running as standard. Okay, so we attempt now to clear the fault codes. One other thing I will do as well is go in and adapt the pressure sensor. Okay, so we don't have the pressure sensor one on there, but right, now we've cleared the codes, we're gonna just do a rescan of the vehicle again and see has the codes cleared this time. As he said, he was struggling to get anyone to even clear the fault codes. We've got one back, which is not good. Maybe it could be, if the soot's low, the pressure's low, and it's not resetting, maybe it could be like corrupted software. All right, we're finished, let's see what we have. We still have a s restriction. Particle filter restriction. Bank one. All right, so why won't that clear then? Let's see if the restricted performance is still here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so what I'm having a look at here is I've went into the regeneration because sometimes there's a lot of other options there, but it will also give you different information. The current value is 6.8, and the required value on this vehicle is 1.5, so it should be below 1.5 grams. So thankfully, that's answered the question of what is the acceptable limit on these cars, 1.5 grams. So on a diesel that would say 6 grams, anything below 6 is fine, but obviously on this it should be below 1.5 grams. But that also tells me that clearing these values that I've done hasn't worked, because it's still reading as 6.8 grams. So let's try that again. Ignition off, and back on, and off successful okay so after the reset faults have come back again so I can see why obviously somebody else has now been struggling to reset these codes what my last attempt now well not my last attempt, but my next step is going to be if I hold the revs up and we get those grams of soot down to 1.5 hopefully that cleaning fluid will get the grams of soot down below 1.5 it's going to be hard to do that while the engines in restricted performance but we'll we'll see we can at least get it out of restricted performance for the time being i know we will get the grams of soot down because once we put the cleaning fluid in we take it for a drive 
but without being able to do that we're just gonna have to try and do it while it's in restricted performance we're still smoking as you can see okay so I've just started to take it for a drive and I can already see that the grams have st not only a little bit but we've only driven half a mile and it's, it's starting to come down okay so I'm gonna continue to drive it for 10 or 15 minutes maybe Okay, so what I've done is tried to use an Autel now again to do the same particular filter special functions which is reset and it's not working on that, on that either. Even though both the Autel and the launch has told me it's been reset, when you go back in and check it hasn't and the fault code is still not clearing. Jeez, this Autel is extremely slow on this car. So I've just sat here for a minute, you can't even see the accelerator but I can't find the engine speed on the dash either but what I'm doing is I'm just accelerating it up and down and then suddenly we've had a big drop of grams just started coming down in chunks it's still coming down there if you can see so what I'm doing is I'm just bursting the revs this is the only way I seem to be able to get it to work didn't look like it was doing anything and then suddenly it just started dropping yeah, it looks like it's probably not going to go much lower than that but we're below 1.5 grams now so the fault code should clear hey presto it has Right, we're going to take this on a test drive now just to confirm it's all okay and that the live data the soot grounds isn't just going to in, you know start jumping back up because we don't want to just say goodbye it's done we want to take it for a test drive now and confirm that the soot has come down and it's staying down well we certainly have our restricted performance gone because we have a nice smooth pickup now it's actually quite a quite a nippy car once the um, restricted performance is gone. Looking at the live data, we are still dropping our soot down to 0 0.299. Okay, we're not getting any further movement for that, which is good. It's not going back up. It's not going any lower. Been on a nice cruise for five or ten minutes or so everything seems to be fine okay so back and we'll do a final rescan no fault codes great success I've got a new nickname the GPF King so that's it all finished on the Range Rover so the Range Rover is all done now we've got this Peugeot to see and I'll see you in the next video